Hi everyone, it's Priya here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all my favorite art supplies. Now I am an artist that works with a variety of different mediums. I work from gouache, watercolors, color pencils, acrylics, graphite, charcoal, markers and ink, fine liners. So I work with a range of different supplies. So I'm going to show you all the different categories and all the different supplies that I use for each medium and the brands that I use. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. I purchased all these supplies myself over years of um, trying them out. I purchased them myself with my own money and I slowly built up the collection and I slowly discovered all the different supplies that I'm going to be showing you today. But these are my go-to supplies, the ones that I really enjoy using and the ones that I keep using again and again for my paintings and drawings. So let's get into today's video. So starting off, this is my go-to watercolor uh, set and this is the 24 watercolor Faber Castle watercolor tube set. Now it actually comes in tubes in here but I don't use them usually in tubes. I prefer to use them in pans but if you look at it this is how it comes in tubes like that. Those are the tubes but I usually put them into pans. I don't use them uh, straight out of the tube. I will show you now but these are my go-to. I use these in a lot of my videos. You may be seeing me use them in a lot of my own painting sketching, sketching time and painting time. I use these a lot. But what I do is I buy these empty palettes. If you um, watch my travel art supplies video, you will see I talk more about these. But this is the Munio uh, palettes and they come empty. Um, but you can see I've swatched all the colors over there. It's got a mixing area over here. And then I buy these empty pans, half pans, and then I just fill them with paint and then I let them dry. And then I've got a palette to use uh, whenever I'm uh, working in my studio. So this is my go-to um, brand and watercolor brand that I really love using. So the next one that I use a lot is the Mungyo Professional Watercolors. Now this set is a set with 48 colors. Now you don't need a large set like this. I just sometimes for convenience sake uh, prefer to have the larger sets but it's important to, for you as an artist to learn to mix colors. So limited color, uh, colors are better then you can learn to mix the colors. But these are what the colors look like. Uh, this is the swatch for the colors. And then it's got a little pan. You can see all the colors over here. You can this is your mixing area. And the good thing about this set of uh, paints is that if any of your pans get uh, finished and you don't have a particular color, you can get the color um, replacement. They do sell replacement pans uh, in individually for the set. I've seen it in my art supply store. So this is another set that you could perhaps consider. It's got your metallics. It's got your regular colors. So yeah, it's quite a, a big set but it's convenient sometimes just to have the colors on the go i still do mix my colors because i never easily use the colors straight as it is in the pans i do usually mix them and change them about to make me my paintings and more cohesive but this is another set that i really enjoy because of the vibrant colors and like the the other thing i just want to mention about the faber castle one is that this these paints do have um a, you can use them a bit more opaque so if you do want to like use a highlight of the white on an eye of an animal for a highlight or shine, you can use it out of the tube and it can be quite um, bright and it stands out over a darker color. But it can be, I mean it's a watercolors, it can be used like regular watercolors which are building up layers of transparency as well. So the next one is the Koi watercolors. Now this is a studio set and it's a large set. It's a 72. I believe it does come in a 24 and a 48 if I'm not mistaken. Now I just, as I said, for convenience sake, I get the largest set. Although I don't ever use the color just as it is. I'm usually always mixing the colors. But it comes with this range of colors. Once again, metallics, some neons and a variety of different colors. It's got this tray for you for mixing. And then this is the set of paints. And it really helps to mix your colors or swatch your colors out because as you can see, you can't really tell the colors when looking at them in the pan. But once they are swatched out, if you look at the swatches, like if you're looking at these colors, you can't really make out what color each one is. But when you look at the swatches, it's easier to see them. So I would highly recommend swatching out your colors and keeping a little swatch in your pan set. Now this set does come with some water brushes. I don't really use the water brushes. In my studio, I'm using my regular uh, standalone brushes that I use for my paintings. On watercolor paintings but I'm um, for if you're on the go maybe you can use the water brushes I use the water brushes a lot for uh, when I'm out a uh, painting or sketching so that is the is the Sakura Koi watercolor set like I said this is the last set you could get the smaller set you don't have to get the largest one it just makes it easier when you are using a variety of colors so this is another one that I like the next one that I use 
a lot. I haven't used them that much, but I used to use it a lot in my videos. Um, you have seen a lot of my artworks in my videos, in previous videos. I used to use the Montmartre watercolor half band set. Now, this set, I've used it so much. You will the palette. It's got a little place for you to put the uh, palettes in for you to mix. And then it's got, um, got all the colors over there. It comes with the water brush. Once again, I don't use a water brush. It does have this little ceramic little dish, but I don't use that usually. And the sponge for texture. But, um, and it's got your mixing areas a lot. You can even mix over there. But this is quite a nice handy set to have and I use it a lot. Uh, these days I'm usually turning to my favorite castle, but when I wanna do quick uh, practice and uh, quick um, paintings, then I turn to this one. And the good thing about this one is that if the pans do get finished, I have got the tube. So this is the tube set of the same paints. So if you do have a color running out in your pan, when it's done, you can just grab your tube and just take your pans and fill in your pan and then let it dry and then you've got your pan filled up again. Because I swatched these out and they're basically the same colors. Obviously the brand is the same, it's Montmartre. Um, it is the watercolor paints, but this is the tube set and that one just makes it convenient by being a palette. That's already uh, pre-filled into the palette. Another one uh, that uh, I think is a good addition, um, it's not a necessity for you to have, but I think it's a good addition if you want to add accents to your, uh, shiny accents to your paintings, and that is the Fine Tech Pearlescent Colors. Now you get a range of different ones, with different ranges of colors. Now this one, the set that I bought has got um, regular metallics of all colors. You've got your warm colors, your cool tones, and it also has got two colors that are known as flip -flop, flop colors. Now those are basically colors that when you apply them to your paper at different angles and with, with the lighting, it changes to different colors. So um, I really like these to use to add to my paintings and I add them usually just as accents to my um, paintings of my watercolors, maybe of butterflies or flowers. It's just a nice uh, addition to have um, if you you know want to have that extra bit of shine or a little bit of a magical element to your or fantasy element to your painting so this is a good additional one to have and then the last thing on the watercolors that i use a lot is the watercolor derwent watercolor set now this cover or this uh, paint to artwork may have changed the tin may have changed because this one i've had for many years it lasts a long time because you don't really need a lot of it but uh, this watercolor set um, it's a 72. You get smaller sets with less colors in it, but I prefer to have the 72 set. As you can see, these are the colors that this set comes in. This is the bottom layer, and then the top layer comes with these colors. Now, what I like about the watercolor pencils is that you can slowly build up your layers, and as you build up your layers, then you can use a brush with some water on it to activate the watercolor. And it looks just like your regular watercolors that you use. Uh, only thing, it's in a pencil form and you can slowly build up layers. Another thing I like about it is that if you finish to a layer, a couple of layers and you've got um, your painting done, if you want to add some details, you can use a, uh, the pencils to do the details on, to draw in the details, and you don't have to activate it with water. You can just leave it as you would uh, usually use a regular color pencil. So that's another thing that I like about okay, using watercolor pencils. They're good for details as well as for uh, coverage. And as you saw, my pencils are still look like I, it's untouched, but I've done many artworks with it. So you don't need a lot. And you build up layers and then you activate it. So this is another one I like. Now the next category I'm going to go to through is my gouache. Now the regular gouache that I use all the time in all my artworks is the Montmartre gouache paints. This is the tube tubes um the tube set now i don't keep them in the box i actually got them in um a little container just for ease of access because i got a trolley that i move around in my studio so i just got it in there it's easier in the container so these are the tubes and these are really good uh, gouache paints i've been using these for years and like i said pack the packaging may have changed but i've been using these for years and they last a long time they're very opaque and they're very vibrant and i really enjoy using them they go down very smooth and then another one that I found recently, which was a brand that I wanted to try out, um, I found a Prime Art um, gouache set. This is a 12 piece set and I wasn't sure how's it going to work or how's it going to look, but they're very vibrant and I was very happy to try out a gouache set because I was 
um, I was looking for other brands to try out to see if I find something better and I was actually happy with the result of this and you can mix colors really well with them even if having a small set of 12 you're able to mix any color you need because it's got all your uh, main colors that you need so I definitely um, this is another brand that I really enjoy using the one one of the recent ones that I've purchased and then another purchase that I made not so long ago as well is the Pro Art Wash. Now this Pro Art Wash is a really a nice wash as well. This is the larger set, this is a 24 set and the colors are very vibrant. I like the packaging shows, they are very vibrant, they go down very smoothly, they layer very well and they're very opaque. So this is also a very good gouache brand. So the Pro Art Gouache brand is also a really good brand too purchase if you're thinking of gouache. So all three of these gouache brands are the ones that I've used and I'm using them. Um, I'm using these ones uh, more and more and getting uh, used to them. Um, but like I said, this one was just as good as these ones. Any of these gouache really are going to get your artwork to look the way you want it to and it's going to look really good. So I highly recommend any of these if you are considering uh, trying gouache out. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is acrylic paints. Now I am using this acrylic paints, um, the packaging has changed, um, these are the Montmartre satin acrylic paints and they work really well, they come in a range of different colors, I have them sorted out into um, different containers just so that they can stay on my trolley, I've got also some browns and the warmer colors like yellows and um, orange and reds in another container but basically this is what they look like and they come in a range of different colors, I've got almost all the colors but as I said, you don't need to have all, as long as you have a few of them, you can use them. These do get sold um, individually, so you can purchase them uh, individually each tube. They do have smaller sets, I believe, uh, but I'm not sure if they're the satin ones. But they do have sets that you can buy off the acrylic paints, but this is the Montmartre brand. And they work really well. Um, I can use them for layering and they just go down very smoothly. And the finished result is not too shiny. They have a sort of a matte a sheen look to it but not too much of a shine uh, when you are done with it so you're not going to have a lot of um, you'll have a bit of glare I mean acrylics do have a bit of a, a glare in them but um, yeah these are definitely a really nice acrylics like I said I've got them into containers just so that I can uh, easily access them on my trolley when I'm moving around uh, working in the studio okay so those are the acrylic paints I use now I do also have this acrylic set which I bought uh, recently this is a Montmartre acrylic paint set. This is pastel colors. Um, I have done a video, I believe, where I showed you all the colors on it. But this is what basically the colors look like. And I really was happy with how these went down. I was even able to use them surprisingly like gouache. Um, you could dilute them quite a bit and get more transparent layers with them as well without the pigment breaking up. So I really like these. I've used it a couple of times already. and. Um, I'm quite happy with how this is also the Montmartre but this is the pastel color so now the next thing I want to show you are one of my favorite supplies to use and if you've watched my animal habitat art series you would have seen I've used these intense pencils for the entire series of over 150 animals um, you can see the playlist of that on my uh, channel on my home page you'll see the list or playlist of all the videos but this intense pencils are basically ink so when it goes down it doesn't go down like watercolor which can be reactivated it goes down permanently like ink does and it comes in a variety of different um, number of pencils you get um, these are the colors this is a 72 set so this is the colors that come in there and you can see I'm still using this is the first set that I've used and I've done a lot of drawings with this one and you don't need a lot of it it'll last you a long 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 time I don't know when it'll ever get finished but these pencils last a long time basically you layer them down like you would a color pencil you build up your layers and once you build up your layers you just use a brush with some water and you activate it and if you watch my videos on the animal habitat series you'll see how they work and you can just get uh, some really good blends of colors like i said the packaging may have changed i've had this for quite a while but uh, for many years so yeah intense pencils are definitely something i really enjoy for drawings and paintings you can create details with them you can also do layers and once you're done with the layers do another layer activate that with water let that dry and when that layer is done drying then you can even go in with the pencil without activating it and just add more details uh, like you would with watercolor pencils so i really really love these intense pencils these are also one of my go-to uh, when i want to do a painting or drawing 
The next one that you also get are intense blocks. Now these ones I haven't used that much uh, as the intense uh, pencils, but I have used them uh, to an extent. Um, and they're really, really very, very vibrant. You can see they come in a range of colors and they got, this is also the 72 set of blocks and you could use them like blocks straight on the paper or you could just put a little um, of them with a brush, mix, mix them into these little wells and you can have your um, colors and then apply them to your paper or you can apply them directly to the paper and then activate them. They feel sort of like, if you look at one of them, they feel sort of like uh, smooth and you think they like a pastel but it doesn't really uh, crumble like pastels but when you put them down they're permanent as inks are and then you just layer it and activate it with the brush with water and you have your ink uh, drawings and paintings so definitely uh, these are also uh, something that I would recommend if you want to have maybe for adding broader color I usually use them for adding broad backgrounds maybe um, and I use the pencils for more detailed work so this is another one that I like. Now this is a Derwent, um, these are the Pastel Shades Paint Pan set. And then this one is the Derwent Intense Paint Pan Studio set. Now you get a smaller set, this is the 24. Now this one I really uh, enjoy using because it makes it convenient. So sometimes if I don't want to use the pencils and I just want to do a quick um, illustration, then I would just grab these and it works, you, I mean you use them just like you would watercolors, it does have a swatch in it but I do re-swatch them, you can see how vibrant the colors are, they do look like inks and then I normally don't use a water brush, I use a regular brush and then I just use these to create a illustration if I'm just looking for something to work with quickly. So because they work, um, they, they're easy in a pan, it's similar to watercolors so you can easily get your color and put down your color on your paper. So this is the uh, studio set and these are just the 24 set i not i don't think it comes in a larger set than this but this is the 24 set the other one is the pastel paint uh, pastel shades paint pan set now this one has got pastel shades so if you want to create a more um, lighter sort of blend of colors and have a lighter a pastel um, illustration with pastel colors these are what the colors look like and you have the set of these beautiful 12 colors that you can use and I've used this as well and I really enjoy using them so this is also a handy a set to have um, in addition to your uh, to your intense sets now next I'm going to show you uh, the markers that I use now I don't have a variety of different markers I only have this set of markers this is the Windsor and Newton Pro br marker brush and it comes with a set of brush markers this is what the set looks like and if you take them out, it has uh, two ends. The one side is your brush nib, which I love using, especially for blending and for getting a smooth blends and smooth application. And then if you want to cover larger areas, then you can use the chisel tip at the end, which also I see is good for applying large uh, broad strokes if you want to cover a larger area. But yeah, these are really, really good markers. I think they, are, they blend very well. They, you have smooth blending. So definitely the Windsor & Newton Pro Brush Markers or your Pro Marker Brushes are definitely a marker to consider if you're looking for markers. They definitely uh, blend very well, especially on a marker paper. They work really well and you save a lot of uh, ink because you don't have any bleed through. So these are definitely a one marker set that I would highly recommend you getting if you are considering uh, getting a set of markers. This is a set of 48 um, markers. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my favorite color pencils. Now, I love using color pencils, and my ultimate favorite color pencils are the Faber Castle Polychromos. Now, this is the 120 set, and I really, really enjoy using them because of how smoothly they go down, and you can achieve a smooth blending as well as a lot of details. As you can see, it comes with a range of different colors. Um, it has got three trays inside because it is 120 colors. You can see all the colors that come in the set and I really, really enjoy using these pencils. They are such a smooth uh, range of pencils. The blending is so good with them as well as getting more detailed um, line work. So definitely these are my favorite by far um, of all the color pencils. I really love using these. The next one that I really enjoy using but it's a bit more expensive than even the Faber Castle is the Karen Dash Luminance. Now this is a set of 76, but I don't use it as often uh, because it is more precious to me because it is more expensive. So I don't use this that often, but you can see it's got 
I've had barely touched this one, but yeah, th these are all the colors that come in the set. They are beautiful pencils to work with. I've really enjoyed working with them, but because they are quite expensive, I don't tend to use these that often um, because I want to use them for a couple of different paintings and drawings. So yeah, these are the Karen Dash pencils and these are also beautiful pencils. They lay down very smoothly and they are very, very um, velvety and very uh, beautiful pencils and vibrant colors as well. Um, they're just as good as the Faber Castle. Um, I like both of them. The next one that I really, really enjoy using are the Derwent Light Fast Pencils. Now these Light Fast Pencils, I really like using them as well. Use them for a lot of uh, animal portraiture, you can use it for landscapes, basically anything you want to draw. This is a set of 72 and these sets do come with smaller sets um, that you can get. You don't have to buy the 72 set, but I really enjoy using these pencils. They go down also very smoothly. You can get them open stock, uh, same with the other two brands as well. So yeah, this is another uh, brand of pencil that I really like using for my drawings as well. Now the next one that I really like using as well and that one is a, a pencil that I used to use a lot before I got the um, polychromos and that is the Lyra Rembrandt uh, Polycolor Pencils. Now these pencils, this is a 72 set and I used to use these pencils a lot uh, before I purchased the uh, Faber Castle a couple years ago and this set is really really good as well. I really enjoy using them. Um, I created a lot of realistic looking uh, drawings with them. As you can see it does come with a lot of different colors and this is one that I would highly recommend because it is more affordable. I would highly recommend uh, if you're looking for some, something not too costly or you're just learning and practicing I definitely recommend trying the Lyra Polycolors because you can get a really good results with them and I've used them a lot before I got the Polychromos. So that's another one that I really like using. The next one that I also enjoy using are the new Derwent Chroma Flows that came out a little while ago. These are, uh, this is a 72 set and I also uh, really like these. They go down very smooth and soft and they can get good blends as well as details. Um, they do come in this little different shape tin. It's more of a square tin, but you can see it comes with a range of different colors. I do like these a lot uh, because you can get a lot of smooth blending and smooth application as well. So definitely these are another set of pencils that I would recommend you uh, getting if you are considering getting color pencils that are a bit more on the uh, better price or cheaper range. The next one that I also like using are the Derwin Pro Colors. This is a set of 36 and I like these for getting more detailed um, line work done. Um, I think these are nice for that as well as for applying layers and building up your layers. I think they're really nice for that and getting blending done as well. So this is another a lot that I like or pencils that I like. And then the final color pencils that I like to use are the Derwent Drawing Pencils. Now this is a set of 24 and I use this mostly for animals and landscapes. And you can see it comes with very neutral and natural earthy tones. And I really like it because of these tones you can achieve really good landscapes and um, very uh, nice applications of color and I really enjoy using this. Now in addition to these color pencils to blend them, I usually use the Zellin Artist White Mineral Spirit. So if I want to get real smooth blending and get rid of the white tooth of the paper, I would usually use this with a little bit of this with on the brush and then blend it on my, uh, blend my drawing out to get a smooth blend. Or you could use the pencil blend by Zested because this also can do the same thing. And really you don't need a lot of this, it lasts a long time. So this is what you can use just to blend your color pencil drawings to get rid of that white tooth of the paper showing through and to get smooth blends. So the next range of art supplies that I'm going to show you are my ink supplies. Now I do use a lot of fine liners. So the fine liners I use basically are your, the one that I really like using is the Montmartre graphic fine liners. This is the seven piece. It's got your brush nib 1.0, 0 0.05, 0 0.7, 0 0.1, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3. So it's got a range of different uh, size nibs and these are all black. I really like using these. I also have recently discovered these uh, Sig uh, Uniball uh, Signio uh, metallic pens. This is a gold and silver just to add accents to my drawings or my ink illustrations. I also use the uh, white jelly roll. I use a lot of the 05, the 08 and 010. Uh, for adding highlights to my uh, 
watercolor paintings and drawings. I think this is really good to use as well. And then I also use the um, multi-liners. These are the Copic multi-liners. So I got them in a range of different sizes. So I use this also for a lot of um, drawings and ink work, especially if I'm using watercolor over or markers. Um, these don't um, smudge or get, uh, they are waterproof. So I can use my markers over them without them basically blending in. And then I also have got this brush pen that I use. Now this is the Pentel brush pen. And I really like it to use it to create some illustrations and quick uh, drawings. Um, if I want to do quick figure drawings or quick illustrations, I use this. And it does come with a refills, so you can get um, refills for them. So I've got this pen that I use a lot as well. And then I also use, but this one is not uh, waterproof, so it does sometimes smudge when you go over it with watercolor. Another one I like using is the Pentel Ultra Fine Advanced um, pen. It's got a medium size nib and I really like it to create some line work over my watercolor drawings because it isn't waterproof so it does smudge when you go over it with watercolors but it's perfect to use when you want to just add some line work over your uh, watercolor drawings or gouache drawings and then the other ones that I like using a lot as well um, that I do use quite often is the Pigma Microns. These are water-based pigment markers and I use these a lot for illustration. This is a set of six. It's got the 05, 01, 08, 04, 02 and 03. So it's a range of different size nibs and I really like using these uh, Pigma Microns. You must be seeing a lot of artists use these for their drawings and illustrations. And then I also have other fine liners that I like to use, the Derwent Line Makers. I've got it in the sepia and black colors. Uh, it comes with 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. So I like using these for illustrations as well and just for line work. And then, okay, so the other one is the Faber-Castell 4 Pit Artist Pens, the black set. This is a set of four pens and it comes with different uh, brush nib, or brush, different nib sizes. It's got a brush uh, tip for the one and the other two come in the sizes 0 0.3, 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. So it's a good range of uh, nib sizes for you to do your illustrations. So I also like using these a lot for my uh, ink work and uh, line work when I'm doing drawings and illustrations. Another thing that I've uh, recently started using uh, now is a calligraphy pen. So I've got this pen over here which I've use a lot. I've got a variety of different ones that I've tried. But this is the, usually the one that I go to uh, because it's I like the nib of it. Um, so I use this one. I've got a set that's got different nibs which you can uh, change the nib size. And this one as well. Um, these are dip pens, sorry. Um, so they, these are dip pens. So you can use them for calligraphy, for drawing, sketching. Um, so yeah, this one comes with different nib sizes and well this one comes with the standard size on it and I like using this one a lot and then I also got these bamboo ones but I never really use them because I can I feel they're gonna get stained very easily so these are the dollar wooden or oh, bamboo um, dip pens so I don't really use this one much but this dip pen I use a lot uh, so you can do calligraphy with it you can do drawing sketching with it as well and with the, with the dip pen I usually use my uh, inks so I've got uh, different inks that I use with it you can get uh, Winsor Newton, they've got a range of different colors. I've just got the white, black and blue inks from Winsor and Newton that I use for my dip pen when I'm doing uh, illustrations and drawings. Uh, sometimes I don't use a dip pen, I just use a regular uh, brush as well. The other inks that I use are just a calligraphy ink. I've got a calligraphy, Winsor and Newton a calligraphy ink as well that I use. This is a black and then I've got the Winsor and Newton calligraphy ink. Um, this is the white. I use this as well. And then I've got another blue calligraphy ink. It just says calligraphy ink. So this is a blue color. It's very dark blues. Drawing ink. Um, this is really inexpensive. There's a little a bottle of draw, drawing ink. This is the Atlas brand. So yeah, this is really nice just to do quick drawings if you want to use ink. And then the other inks that I've got, a range of different colors. I've got them in all um, your blues, yellows, warm colors and cool colors, grays and black as well. Uh, blues even. This is the uh, Dela Rami Artist Acrylic Inks. So I use these a lot. Uh, they do have the bottles with the little pipette at the top so you can have the little dropper. So I don't know if you can see that. You can have a little dropper so you just drop your ink down. I usually drop the ink into a little palette and then I mix it with water and then I 
apply it with a brush so yeah these are the other inks that i do use for my drawings as well and i even use this in the airbrush because you can use these in the airbrush as well for airbrushing backgrounds or high or anything over my acrylics i use this as well so definitely um these are really um, nice inks as well to use okay and now i'm moving on to the last items that i use for my uh, drawings and paintings and that's charcoal and graphite now you may be seeing a lot in my videos that i really just use this regular faber castell uh, this is just a regular faber castell gold faber hb pencil and i use this basically for all my sketching and light sketches for my drawings and illustrations before i start painting with watercolor or acrylic i also use on my canvases a lot and sometimes where I want a water soluble graphite pencil, that's one that basically dissolves the graphite when you add water. This is a Faber Castell graphite aquarel pencil and it basically dilutes the graphite once you apply water. So this is another one that I like using when I don't want harsh graphite lines with a graphite pencil. Then I also have got charcoal pencils that I use and well I use a lot of these blenders for the charcoal um, as well. But for the graphite pencil drawings, I like using the Mars Lumograph Black set. This gets some really dark colors. You can use your regular um, pencils. You get them in like your H, your um, 2H, 3H. But I prefer the darker colors. And I use the HB as my lightest uh, color. And then I go to like this one's got a 2B, uh, HB, 2B, 3B. Oh, sorry, not 3B, 4B. And it's got your 7, 6, and 8B. Um, you do get others that have got your uh, 3B pencils, um, like your Stedler 3B. I can use that one as well for a lot of my drawings as well. So this is a set that I like to do if I just want to do a graphite drawing that's really detailed and that has got a lot of different um, ranges of uh, tonal values. Then I use this set. Otherwise, I would just go for regular graphite and I'll have my HB uh, maybe a 2B and a 3B and I would just do my drawings. But for my sketches, um, initial sketches before I paint or work in my sketchbook, this HB does a perfect job of that. And then once again, I use a blending stump to blend my pencil. And then when it comes to charcoal, I've got the Derwent charcoal pencils. Now this charcoal pencils are a set that I really enjoy using. This one has got a range of different, it comes with two of some of them. It's got your uh, dark, medium and light and it's got your white. So you've got a range of this one. So it comes with um, your medium, I've got your light and it's got your uh, dark. And it comes with a two medium and two dark and it's got one light and it's got your white as well. So you can work on dark paper and just work with white. I have done a video where I've used white on black paper. But yeah, this is the charcoal pencils that I use for my charcoal drawings. I also have got this little brush that I use for my charcoal. So when I do any charcoal drawings to get some blending in, if I don't use a blending stamp, and uh, instead of using the blending stamp, I just use this brush to get some um, movement and to cover the paper. And then obviously where, with the dust, I use the dust, some other areas where I just want a light um, blend of colors or just to add a little bit of tone to my illustration that I'm doing. So the, those are the charcoal supplies I use. I've also got these white charcoal pencils. If you want to work on black paper or if I'm doing an illustration on black paper with color pencil maybe, outline, I use white charcoal uh, because that helps. Or you can use white chalk as well just to get the base, uh, basic sketch down to guide you. And then I also got these um, charcoal sticks now these charcoal sticks come in three different uh, varieties once again it's your light medium and dark and it comes with two sticks for each one so i really like using these only thing they are very messy that's why i usually would tend to use uh, the brushes to blend them out but yeah these are the charcoal sticks that i use so basically those are the ones i use and then i just got the, the sharpener that i use for the charcoal pencils because they are a little thicker i use the bigger side of that so basically those are the supplies that I use for my uh, charcoal drawings and my illustrations. I do have them in these little containers just so that it makes it easier when I am 
putting them into my trolley so that I can move them around in the studio wherever I'm working. So for my graphite, another set that I use in um, together with the Lumograph, which from your, it goes from 9H up until 9B, so it goes from the lightest to the darkest, is the Derwent Graphic, Graphic Pencils. As I said, the artwork may have changed on these tins. Um, this is quite old, I've had it for many years. So this is the um, set of pencils that I've got and this is the graphite set that I use with the Stedler Lumograph. This is the Stedler Lumograph and then this is the um, Derwent drawing or your graphic pencils. So I use this set a lot as well for drawings. And then also another set that I find really helpful to use is the Derwent Graphite Tint. Now this is basically graphite pencils but it's got a tint of color in it. So there will be a hint of blues and greens, very earthy tones. Um, it's got a lot of earthy tones but this is what the colors look like, the range of colors. And this is definitely a, a nice um, mix of having a graphite drawing but adding that hint of color just to bring the piece uh, to life. Uh, like I said, the packaging uh, may have changed and the, pet, uh, the painting or artwork on it has changed because this is quite old. But these are nice for having uh, more natural um, landscapes, uh, nature scapes, seascapes and uh, animal drawings as well. And then I also like using the Derwent Tinted Charcoal. Now the Tinted Charcoal is the same um, concept like the Graphite Tint. It's charcoal pencils but with a hint of color. So if you look at the colors, they're very earthy tones once again. So they're very nice for drawing natural elements and nature scenes and even animals. Um, so yeah, you can do portraits like on this artwork it is a portrait but you can use these for anything you like but they work just like a normal charcoal pencils but there is a hint of color in them so it can get some real, um, create a lot of interest into your charcoal drawings. So I think these are really nice and obviously with your charcoal and graphite I recommend using a fixative for pencil uh, that can charcoal that can keep your artwork from smudging. And then also in addition to that I've discovered um, these two um, pan sets by Derwent as well. Uh, there was a Derwent Tinted Charcoal and a Derwent uh, Graphite Tint. And then these are the Derwent Tinted Charcoal Paint Pan Set and this is the Derwent Graphite Tint Paint Pan Set. Now if you look at the set basically it's the same uh, concept of the um, Graphite Tint however it is placed in a pan. So it's similar to how you'd have watercolors and you do activate them with watercolor. When you want to use the set, this is the swatch it comes with and this is the swatch that I've done of these colors. It's got a hint of color as you can see and these can be used just like watercolors but they don't feel like watercolors, they feel like graphite and they also uh, look uh, like graphite and you can see a slight sheen on some of the colors which is like what the nature of graphite is. So. These are really nice to use as well for illustrations and drawings and they're really uh, convenient if you want to carry them on the go because they're so small, I mean you can just carry them with. It does come with a water brush if you want to use a water brush but I prefer to use them with regular brushes. I don't usually take these on the go but you know it's something that I may look into. Um, I'm usually taking my watercolors on the go but um, this is something that you could consider maybe um, taking on the go if you want to do a quick um, graphite drawing with or painting with a little bit of uh, color in it. So that's definitely a, a really a nice idea that Derwent came up with. And then another one um, is the Tinted Charcoal Paint Set. And uh, this paint set is basically the same. It's charcoal and it's activated with water. So it's a little convenient set that you can take with you. And this is really nice to take on the go with you again uh, because you've got your tinted charcoal that's the swatches they've got and then I've swatched the colors out and the char the tinted charcoal has um, the graphite and the graphite tint sorry that pan set has more of a smoother feel to it although this one does feel chalky it has a bit of a texture to it when you feel the swatches of it and but they do have a nice range of colors and you can get some really nice um, charcoal drawings with a hint of color it's got this light color in it which can really bring a lot of interest to your drawings, especially when you're out urban sketching and urban painting. You can get down things quickly and then add a hint of color to just bring it to life and bring it that uh, interest. So once again, it comes with a water brush. I use a regular uh, brush, but if you do want to take it on the go, it's really convenient in this little uh, mini size. So I think that's really helpful to have with you uh, when you're on the go. Um, yeah, but these are really good um, 
these two were really a surprise for me when I first discovered them because I was like, okay, are these going to be activated with water? Like um, the um, watercolors and yeah, basically you use them like watercolors, but they're nothing like watercolors. Graviton is still like graphite and the charcoal is absolutely like charcoal. It even feels like charcoal when, when it's down on the paper. So definitely these are little handy sets to have if you want something extra or something to take with you on the go if you do a lot of urban sketching. Uh, but it's not a necessity and you don't have to have them. But um, yeah, they are definitely uh, worth trying if you're looking for something new and something different and something that's just quick and easy access and convenient to carry with you. Definitely these are, I mean, these are convenient to carry compared to, um, you know, carrying a set of the graphite tint or carrying the um, tint charcoal. But, so those are basically the suppliers I use for all the different um, mediums that I use. And those are my go-to mediums. There are a lot of other mediums that I do use uh, occasionally, but these are my go-to and these are when I really want um, to do a particular piece. I go to these suppliers, depending on what medium I feel like using, if I feel like using acrylics or color pencils or charcoal, depending on my mood and what I feel like using and what subject matter I'm going to be painting or drawing. Um, then I use one of these suppliers. suppliers. So I just want to show you all the art supplies that I use and the brands I use just so that you've got an idea of what I use and maybe it can help you somehow and you'll maybe um, find some assistance in deciding what supply to buy or uh, which supplies you'd like to use. If you'd like to see videos on my channel, I do have other videos where I show you uh, me using the supplies that I've showed you. Then you can actually see how I use them and you can maybe decide uh, which mediums you'd like to use or which supplies within the medium would you like to try out. I do have playlists on my channel with, for each different medium so you can see uh, which medium you're interested in and then just have a look at the videos and see the supplies I've used and then maybe come to your own conclusion or decision of what you would like to get for yourself or what you'd like to try out. So I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. And if you have anyone you'd like to share it with, maybe that are interested in also seeing these suppliers, you can share the video. It also really helps the channel out. And you can leave your comments down below or anything you have to say, you can leave it down in the comments below. And don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this and other art and art inspiration videos that I put up, then you could consider subscribing. So I guess that's it for this one. Thank you so much again for watching. Till the next one. Bye.